Hey guys, welcome to the designsketchbook.com. It's Shutak, and today we are going to draw a Sony projector. So I invite you to draw with me for 30 minutes. So take a pen, piece of paper, get ready, and let's start. So let's start to draw a cylinder. So the cylinder is going to be a little bit more narrow at the bottom. So I got to draw the top surface and the bottom, but I'll link. Here is a contour line for in identifying the face of the projector. I add it here to make it in 3D volumes. Can you see the front, the front line for the contour line? I'm going to use it. Now it's like a symmetry axis, I would say, in perspective, where it helps me to draw the part at the bottom. Now I draw the lens, one ellipse. Now I draw a second one behind, but see how I didn't draw the full ellipse up for the second? Here, another contour line to identify where is the lens and getting more details. So you can more feel the deepness of this lens. A bit of hatching to create some contrast. Mm -hmm. Now I bold, so it's going to be more explicit for the volume of the overall object. So imagine that the light is coming from the top left and so you can uh, put more line weight on the bottom right. Here a bit of details for the sound, the speakers. So we are going to draw together some simple volumes a little bit of indicator, maybe like the name of the lens, the technology, and the brand Sony right here. Once again, the brand, the details, and the line, and the lens are all aligned on the contour lines. Because you would be surprised how many products around you are symmetrical. And remember, if you're a beginner in perspective, feel free to download the Design of Starter Kit I put in the link. I put the link below, so you can download it. It's for free. It's great for beginner to to get started in design sketching. So it's good to pause sometime to when you draw and to think about the next move. It's just something that you should do really relax. See how I do some ghost drawing? I try to visualize <laughs> before to commit with the line. So draw, drawing is not a race. You just take your time and, to, for example, when I draw these ellipses, even though it has some dynamic feeling, you can see that the momentum is not very fast. It's actually a regular movement. Ghost drawing and go. So I invite you to try multiple cylinder form. Mm -hmm. Here is the same shape, but more small, like if it was like squeezed. <laughs> and can you feel that the different feeling that we, we get from it? But same process, cylinder, contour lines, then the lens, we have hatching, exactly the same order as the previous one. It's all about strategy from general to detail. Train that way and soon it will make sense to you and you will practice naturally with this probably almost the same order or maybe exactly the same. And the detail details come later. I think the detail is pretty magic because it adds some uh, product feeling, instantaneous product feeling. It's not anymore just a cone or drawing, you have something more to it. 
uh, add some hatching here to enhance the volume. Or the hatching or oblique. Uh, I try to make them do not follow any line of the product itself. So it contrasts even more. Hatching is very really useful for color blocking or adding some shadow, adding some volumes. It's perfect for sketching, sketching fast and communicate your ideas. Create good, good contrast. Okay, let's go for the third one. <clears throat> we are now at six minutes and I already completed two. So we get it more narrow at the bottom. As a projector lens, I would add a more vertical cylinder right here. It's like a head and the shoulder. I feel like Wally -E though. <laughs> Just adding some volumes here and there, building the form along the way. And this is a projector, but when you extrapolate, um, you as a designer decide what you are drawing. If you want to make it like a perfume or something, you could, you could modify it like trying to add some thickness to the body, for example, and see some transparency with the liquid inside. <laughs> this is pretty magic when you draw because you can actually create um, anything you want, just pretty quick. So I'll add here some details. Mm -hmm. It's pretty convenient to add the details, but try to do not put too many of them because we may lose the focus on the product itself. So I get this paint in a very very cheap shop. <laughs> so try to get the a ballpoint pen that doesn't have to be very expensive or just try some and if they have a good pressure boot sensitivity that's what matter the most not the price i like to draw with cheap uh, ballpoint pen as well because they tend to be very light it's less tiring i can draw much longer with a light pen because sometimes you can see some fancy pen that are super heavy, made of metal. Mm, not a fan of it personally. Maybe you can, or so give it a try. It's my personal preference, but I do recommend light, um, light, light pens. Mm -mm -mm. Add some notes. Head could go in 360 degree, and to emphasis, I add also the rotation axis that cross. Uh, in the middle of the contour lines. That's why it's pretty cool. In design sketching, there are some imaginary lines that you can add to uh, better communicate your ideas. <laughs> I like the sound of the nib scratching, rubbing the, the paper. Very relaxing. Fast sounds like uh, ASMR somehow. If you don't know what is ASMR, I invite you to type in Google in Google in YouTube. <laughs> it's about how satisfying you can get from some sounds. And 
the pen scratching the paper is definitely one. 20 minutes left. Keep going. Just draw for fun. Now we draw some front view to have an overall of proportion. It helps to have a better comparison between the three proposals. Feels like like the minions somehow with the uh, the middle eye. So now we are spending more time into the details because we already have the general forms and it's really relaxing actually at, the, at that stage. Just trying to find some new places to connect the tag. So feel free to choose uh, the one of your choice as well. Add some hatching. I try to have also a nice composition when I use the hatching to, to make the color blocking. As you can see, I add uh, the tag on top of the pre-existing line. I don't hesitate to draw on top of them. This is why it's really important to draw quite light at the beginning of the sketch. So you can bowl along the way and you have different layers um, of sketches of light of line weight. So if you have a heavy wrist, uh, try to get some training, some warm-up before drawing, trying to be as gentle as possible. It will help you long term. Or you may get uh, a ballpoint pen that is more new, because some ballpoint pen, when they get a bit old and used, they tend to be thicker and the, the, the ink tend to be more gluish, uh, I would say. Sometimes you just need to, to buy a new pen and you can solve a lot of problems, a lot of um, line weight issue due to the to, due to the heavy wrist. Mm -hmm. Now I was wondering why not adding a SD card slot 
on top of it. And then I draw some axes, like some rails coming coming from the slot, and I draw the SD card, like if it could be inserted. Okay. These rails are pretty important because it gives you the guide for the size of the SD card. Uh, I got just to a quick mistake, but I will add some hatching to hide it. Can you see? Voila. <coughs> it tend to somehow disappear. Because we are not using any rubber, it's all about ballpoint pen. Making sure that you're not tempted to erase all the time when you're a beginner, because it happened that it will make you waste your time more than uh, improving. Just keep drawing with ballpoint pen will do. You will progress much faster by realizing that you are doing mistake and see how you can progress by showing your mistakes, getting feedbacks, or maybe study them a bit longer instead of ignoring them, erasing them, and still don't know how to figure figure out the solution. So I like to use this board. Uh, it's um, this board, which is pretty pretty convenient if you draw when you stand. And here it gives me some um, stiffness, and it adds also some effect to the sound of the nib scratching the <laughs> the paper. Let's draw a last one. <clears throat> See how the contour line is playing inside the lens? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here we go. I let you guys draw, enjoying some cylinders, ellipses, lens. Now looking for another design of the tripod. There we go. Some details right here. Same process as the other one which is pretty cool. So since you know how to draw cylinders, you can actually draw in so many variations. Could be more or less flat, more or less thin. <laughs> Everything is up to you. And here with the tripod, the size of the tripod, adding even more possibilities. Don't count, forget for the tag. So taking my time, looking around what could be um, improved. It has been soon 20 minutes that we are together to draw. And do you see how fast actually is the first steps and what takes actually the, the longest time is all this detailing, all this variation of shadow, trying to make this volume more interesting. Hopla, small, <laughs> like what? Well, I rice cooker somehow, but I see it's a bit too wide. Oh, 
All right, so 20 minutes together. Left 10 minutes. Keep up. Keep up spending more time on the details, trying to figure out what kind of details you could add. Mm, to do so, you can actually add some limitation, I would say. It's like, uh, okay, you want like a fun uh, projector, you want it to be mobile, easy to move, easy to put it in your, in your, in your bag. Um, try to, 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 to get some ideas in that way, it will actually fit your inspiration for, for your drawing drawing here of the projector. So remember to turn your paper when you draw to get an uh, easier angle to draw straight line. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So more and more you will draw the right way, faster you will realize that you can uh, you can finish complete your your product. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So take your time. You, you don't have to watch the video every single second of it. Just draw with me, enjoy. Adding some notes. the projector we could actually project with light the logo Sony or maybe it could be the title of a movie and so on your time <laughs> adding here some wood uh, texture pattern just giving some extra information. It's like a sample, like a swatch you add on your paper. So you don't have to draw this effect on uh, on the product itself, actually. And since this detail is not the most relevant of the product, that's not the key point that you want people to see first. Uh, 
adding some quick background here with some hatching. Another background here. Can you see how it helps to make the product pop? Very light rectangle. Up now. Hatching that are parallel. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if when I draw it reminds me a uh, zoom in, scale, zoom out of the iPad using your, f your two fingers. <laughs> it's like in real life, sometimes you, you do something, you regret it, or you break something and you would, you would like to do a control Z. <laughs> like control Z is a, a shortcut for undo in most of, soft most of graphic software, such as Photoshop. There we go. In just uh, less than half an hour, we complete the full board. And did you see the cast shadow on the on the floor? I'm not even adding hatching on them. It's just show helping them to to show area, the, showing better the perspective. Some little refinement, <coughs> so <coughs> so you can do so as well. It has somehow like a feeling of peaceful <laughs> when you draw at this stage. This is a jack, the plug jack, to add the mic or the earphone. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So I hope you enjoy the video that I initially thought it would be a good idea to do it as ASMR, like without recording my voice, without explanation of our sharing stories this would be just the sound of the paper and the nib drawing on it uh, if this is something that may interest you just let me know <laughs> I was thinking why not I don't know just a quick idea there we go some touch up Almost done. All right. So feel free to send me your drawing at shoot.arobas.thedesignsketchbook.com. I would be curious to see that. And I see you for the next video. But if you can't wait to see more or learn about cylinders, feel free to go to the blog, face more tutorials, and once again, <coughs> and once again download the, design, the Designer's Data Kit. It's free. See you guys. Bye-bye.